Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, hi, I'm Maria Zintons. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing very well. Today, I'm going to tell you about the importance of maintaining physical and mental health. A clear distinction is often made between mind and body, but when considering physical and mental health, the two should not be thought of as separate. Poor physical health can lead to an increased risk of developing mental health problems. Similarly, poor mental health leading to an increased risk of some condition. Think about this. How mental health affect physical health? Well, there are various ways in which poor physical health, I mean mental health, has been shown to be detrimental to physical health. People with high level self threats of distress of course, compared to lowest rates of distress, yeah, were 32% more likely to have died from cancer. And one point of depression has been found to be associated with an increased risk of coronary heart disease. This is schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is associated with double the risk of death from coronary heart disease and three times the risk of death from respiratory disease. This is because people with mental health condition are less likely to receive the physical health care they are entitled to. And mental health service users are statistically less likely to receive the routine check that might detect symptoms of this physical health condition earlier. And they are also not as likely to be offered help to give up smoking, reduce alcohol consumption, and make specific adjustments to the diet. Lifestyle factors. These lifestyle factors can influence the state of both your mental and physical health. The first is exercise. Physical activity in any form is a great way to keep your physical health. Yeah, as well as improving your mental well-being, physical activity means any movement of your body that uses your muscle and expand energy. The second is diet. Yes, a good nutrition is a crucial factor in influencing the way we feel. A healthy balanced diet is the one that includes a healthy amounts, which is its proteins, essential fat, complex carbohydrates, vitamins, mineral, and water. The food we eat can influence the development, management, and prevention of numerous mental health conditions including depression and Alzheimer's. And the last one is smoking. Yes, smoking. Smoking has a negative impact to both physical and mental health. The person with mental health problems believe that Smoking relieves their symptoms. Yes, it is right. But these effects are only short terms because there is a nicotine. Nicotine in cigarettes interferes with a chemical in our brain. It's just like brain eating. And there's a dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical which influences the positive feelings. And it's often found to be lower in people with depression. In the long term, this can make person feel as though they need more and more nicotine in order to repeat this positive sensation. And so don't do smoke people. Yeah. So because smoking is very dangerous. If you do smoking, stop. Get some help. Alright? Because it's very dangerous. And moving to the next long term health and mental health condition. The promotion of positive mental health can often be overlooked when treating physical health condition. Yes, just like psoriasis. Psoriasis is in such condition which the effect go beyond in the visual sign and symptoms, impacting psychological well-being and quality of life. And now we are talking about psoriasis. Psoriasis is a condition which commonly characterized by red flaky sores on the surface of the skin. And this effect go beyond in the visual sign and symptoms. And psoriasis 
is a condition commonly triggered by stress. So take it relax, people. It affects 1.8 million people in the UK and can impact on the emotional as well as physical well-being. And the fact is, up to 85% people feel annoyance with their psoriasis. Approximately one-third experience feelings of humiliation and anxiety and depression. One in ten admit to contemplating a suicide. One in five report being rejected and stigmatized as the result of their condition. Yet, the recent report from British Association of Dermatologists, or BAD, highlighted that only 4% of dermatology units have access to a counselor. The physical and psychological impact can be seismically linked. The condition can cause emotional distress, which can make the psoriasis flare and as a result cause further distress. So people, maintaining your physical and mental health can be a daunting task. If you don't regularly make health your priority, the journey to health can seem like a steep uphill battle. While taking good care of yourself certainly requires some effort. And it doesn't have to be overwhelming. The bottom line is that maintaining your physical and mental health should be a priority. And making effort to maintain your health, which is your mind and your body, has many benefits in the long run. This health benefits is not only maintain your health, but it's also prevent illnesses. Listen, choose the correct healthy active lifestyle, people, because you decide, you, what you're gonna do with your mind and your body. All right, that's all, people. I'm Maria Zidan. Keep healthy and goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.